What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Precious Robot here. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can add chords to your HUD without the F3 or the debug menu. This will show chords on your HUD like in Bedrock Edition without having to have all the other information too. There's a couple different ways to do it and I'll show you both methods. This is for Java Edition, Bedrock already has this. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. When I flip the switch, as you can see, my chords are displayed on the screen here. It has my X, Y, and my Z. And I have this set up to where this will work in single player, but you could also put this on your server or your realm, and then everybody would see their chords at all times. All right, and I'll show you how to set that up, but first let me show you the other method. This other method is one that I would prefer, and it only shows your chords if you're holding an item. So like in this case, I have it set up to show my chords if I'm holding a compass. So if I throw this in my hand, as you can see, my chords are displayed down there and it moves around as I'm moving around. And just like the other method, this will work with everybody on your server. Put it out of your hand, it'll stay for a second, but then fade away. Throw it back in your hand, and it comes back up. Now as you can see, I have this set up two different ways. The first way has the X, Y, and Z, and it's white. And this way has the colors. You can really set it up however you like. I'll show you how to do that too at the end of the video. Okay, so before you do anything, you'll need to set up your scoreboard objectives. I have all three scoreboard objectives put into a command block here. You don't necessarily need to put them in command blocks. You can really just type them out on your map or server and then hit enter and that's all you really need to do. You just need to do this once on your server before you do this. So the first one you'll need to set up is the X dummy. So you'll do scoreboard, objectives, add X dummy. And what a dummy objective is, is it's just like an objective that's not affected by anything else. And you'll do that for uh, each coordinate. So uh, this is X, Y, and Z. Press them. Once you have those scoreboard objectives set up, you could go to this next part. You don't have to have this lever here. You can set this to always active and it'll work just the same. I just like having a lever so I can turn it on and off. And all of these commands will be in the description below too. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go in here and execute as every player in your world or server. Run, execute, store, result, score, at S, X, run, data, get entry, at S, position, zero. So that's what this command does. It'll store your X position into the X objective. So what this position zero is right here is it means it's getting your X position. And it's set up like zero, one, and two. So zero is X, one is Y, two is Z. This will be repeat. Uh, I have the set to needs redstone, but like I said, you could do always active, however you wanna do it. And you're just gonna do the same exact thing over here. See position one, this will be your Y coordinate. Store it into the Y coordinate right here. You can see the beginning here, it's pretty much exactly the same. This third one, same thing there. Position two, store it into the Z. These three command blocks pretty much store your coordinates into three separate scoreboards. And this last one will display it. All right, so we'll go through this one. So execute as, at A, so that everybody in your world run the title for themselves. Action bar, that just shows where the title's located. And this next part right here is just like the JSON text. Um, I pretty much got this from a generator. I'll show you how to do that later. Pretty much what this does is displays your three separate scoreboards all as one string as a title. All right, and like these last three blocks, these will be chain, unconditional, always active, chain, unconditional, always active, chain, unconditional, always active. So that's pretty much that. So if this were to be on always active, so yeah, as you can see, this displays your X, Y, and Z coordinates. And if I jump, you'll see the Y changes, Z changes, X changes. Yeah, and that'll pretty much always be on as long as this is activated. So if we do needs redstone, it'll go away. As you can see, it's not uh, updating. Turn that on, and yeah. All right, so this next part is actually pretty much exactly the same thing. There's just a couple slight differences. So before we start storing our X, Y, and Z coordinates into scoreboard objectives, we're gonna check if somebody is holding a compass. So that's what this command block is. So we'll go in here and we'll say execute as. So execute as every player run execute if entity of themselves 
uh, they have a compass in their hand. So that's what the selected item means here. Uh, NBT selected item pretty much just means that whatever is in your hand and the item is a compass. So this is just checking that if anybody in your realm or server has a compass in their hands. This is repeat, unconditional, always active. All right, and then we'll go in here. And this is pretty much the same exact thing as before. This will be the same exact command, execute as at A, run execute store result score, at S, X run data, get entity at S position zero. So this is storing your position zero, which is your X coordinate into the X uh, objective. Repeat, conditional, always active. You will change this to conditional. Same thing right here, position one, which is your Y coordinate, store it as the Y objective. Repeat, conditional, always active. Same thing here, position two, which is your Z coordinate, store it as the Z objective, done. And this last one is just a tad different and I'll show you how. So we go in here, uh, execute as at a run title. So instead of just running the title at yourself, we're gonna add a little filter so that it only shows the title if the player has a compass in his hand. And you can just copy and paste this from earlier. Uh, action bar, and you can see this looks a little bit different, but that's just because I did a different uh, JSON text here so um yeah that's pretty much it repeat conditional always active and so now as you can see if i throw this in my hand you can see the x y and z coordinates if you are going to implement this onto your map or server make sure to do this at your world spawn so these will always be active that way everybody in your uh, realm or server can uh, reap these benefits all right and that's pretty much it now i'll show you how i did the json text using a generator on the web all right, so if you want to change how the chords display, you'll want to go to like a generator. I use uh, minecraft.tools. There'll be a link in the description, but if you go here and you scroll down to a uh, title generator, I'm not sure if you can see that. There's an ad, there's some ads on here. So um, this will let you customize your title. We're not going to worry about the subtitle. We're just going to check this box right here, display title and action bar. So that's going to show the action. And let's get rid of this. So if we want to just show like the three chords without any X, Y, Z or any colors or anything, this is what we'll do. We'll go to this little button right here. And what this does is this defines a score. So we'll do at S objective name X because these are the objective names that we set up previously. And then we'll do space. Try that again. We'll do at S Y. Okay, space. Last time at S. Last time at S. Z. And I'll have something like that. And then go down here and hit generate command. All right. So this right here, this is going to be your JSON. This is what you're going to uh, paste into your uh, command block. All right. So uh, say you want to do something like uh, you want to add the X, Y, and Z. I would do something like display title action bar and I'll go here and I'll do X space and then say I wanted the uh, chords to be bold or a different color uh, I'll just start with blue and I'll make it bold and then I'll hit this button and I'll do add S X okay. space uh, as you can see it's bolded and um, has the blue color so just change it back unbold We'll go back to automatic y equals space and we'll do uh, maybe gold and bold click that at s y and then click to automatic unbold z space this last one we'll do like a dark green bold at s z all right and then generate command and i'll actually just uh, copy and paste this in there to show you so i'll take that all right so i'll just switch it out with the uh, compass so i'll go here uh, i'll just get rid of all of this I want to get rid of everything up until it says action bar. So once I'm right there, paste that in there. P conditional always active done. All right. So now when I pull my compass up, 
as you can see it has x y and z and they are updating with the uh compass so yeah mess around with that see what you can do and that's pretty much it you are going to want to be sure you have the game rule uh command block output set to uh, false here because if you have it set to true and say you were to have the compass in your hand as you can see it just kind of spams uh, that's another reason i kind of like to have just the compass that way it's not always spamming so game rule command block output make sure it's set to uh, false even though the command block is constantly outputting it shouldn't affect any of your uh ticks per seconds or anything uh, as you can see here you can see a little bitch test right here so yeah doesn't really change anything tps is still uh TPS is still uh, still good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Uh, I'll try to help you out the best I can. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.